Hi everyone, can you hear me? Hi Karen. Hi Rachel. Hi Tanya, Caroline. Loud and clear, Karen's saying, fab. Hi Charmaine. Hi Barbara, Christine. Kathy, Julie. Okay, well I usually go live at five, so it's five two, so we'll give it a few more minutes before I start. What have you all been up to with your Sunday so far? I know for some of you it's probably early morning. Hi Helen. Hi Sharon. So Sharon's saying, I am struggling big time with cutting out on my scan and cut smaller sayings. Okay Sharon, it depends how small you're going. The blade has a limitation in its turning area. So if you're trying to go too small, then you will struggle. Also, it could depend on the font that you're using and it could also depend on the type of thing that you're trying to cut into, you know, what type of card. If it's very fibrous and you're trying to use a small word, then, you know, you could struggle. Caroline's saying it's coffee time. Dawn's saying, hi everyone, Abbotsford. BC, I know I probably say this every week, I'm guessing that's British Columbia. Julie, you've been doing machine embroidery today. Oh, lovely. I've been thinking about getting my machine out and trying to do another project sometime soon. I've not used the embroidery side of my sewing machine for ages. Not actually used my sewing machine for ages until recently when I did a couple of projects. What have you been making, Julie? Uh, Charmaine saying drawing up a sewing pattern. Oh, lovely. What are you going to be making, Charmaine? So we've got Julie doing embroidery, Charmaine doing pattern making, Rachel saying busy making a birthday card for my mum, oh lovely, Kathy Hoffman, happy Sunday, Father's Day here, yes it's Father's Day in the UK too. <laughs> I've just read Barbara's comment, Barbara Harty said I've made a Christmas cracker card. <laughs> From my tutorial, bless you. So you're doing Christmas in June. Hi Ellen, are you okay? Hi Bonnie. Sharon, Quinn. Hi Caroline, yeah. Helen wrote, been messing in my room and walking the dog, oh lovely. Julie said she's doing quilts, wow. Dawn, west coast of Canada. Okay, lovely. I know I probably say it every week. I see BC in the comments and I think, is it British Columbia? I'm going to sound a fool if I say that. Uh, Sharon, is it possible to download an SVG file to Canvas? And cutting just the outline I'm making on my version card. You should be able to put an SVG into Canvas and you should be able to ungroup it and and then use the outline for a card or if you can't ungroup it try adding an offset around the actual design and that will give you an outline if that makes sense you know use the offset but tick the box that says um only around the outside or something like that I can't remember which way around it is but there's a box when you go into where the offset is and you add your 0 0.04 or whatever number you're using, there's a box a bit further down that you tick or untick depending on how you want the offset made, either an offset directly just round, say like something round the outside of this that I'm showing, this card here, or where you want something that's going to cut on the outside and the inside. So yes, you should be able to do it. It depends how the SVG file was made. Sometimes they don't ungroup. What you could try doing if it won't ungroup is selecting it and use divide and that sometimes breaks them up. But it does depend with SVGs how they've been made. 
Phyllis has also been doing machine embroidery. Charmaine is saying my granddaughter six wants a sweetheart neckline dress. Oh, lovely. So you're making her a pattern. How lovely is that? Hi, Joyce. Hi, Rose Lily. Mandy G. Hi, Ashley. Miss Wednesday, but watched the other day. Fab as usual. Oh, you're welcome. As I always say, the, the lives, um, you know, barring any problems, should always be recorded and they're in their own playlist. There's a playlist on the channel now specifically called Live and I try to remember to put the date at the beginning so that if you're looking, you know, for Sundays are normally something that I do with the machine and Wednesdays are normally something I do with Canvas. So if you can identify from the date at the beginning of the description, whether it's a Wednesday or a Sunday, that will normally give you a clue as to whether it's something I did on the machine or something I did in canvas. Um, Julie's put, if I turn these blocks into a quilt, it will be a miracle. <laughs> Come on, Julie, we've got faith in you. You can do it. Uh, Sharon Quib Quinn is saying, fab, really great, helps, thanks so much. Give it a try, Sharon, and see. As I say, some SVGs, can be a little bit difficult. If you can't ungroup it, try dividing it, and if it doesn't break up then, then you know you might struggle. But as I say, depending on exactly what you want to do with it, you could try putting the offset around it, and then at least you'd get an outline that way. I don't know whether that would work for you or not. Ellen's saying she's been cleaning up her craft room and now she can't find anything. Donna Jo, I'll be lurking again today. Hope everyone is okay. Donna Jo, it's perfectly fine to lurk, honestly. <laughs> Rachel's saying I do that, Ellen. Thea is saying hi, Ashley and everyone. Christine is saying hello from sunny Hampshire. Yeah, we've got sun at the moment, very windy, but we've had a couple of really heavy downpours of rain. Oh, Thea, I've just read that Thea's just put, we've just had a thunderstorm in South Derbyshire. Well, I'm in North Derbyshire. We've not had the thunder today, Thea, but we've had like two or three really heavy downpours. Right, first thing I want to say, because I can see all the comments coming up now. Leslie, I've just seen your comment. Thank you so much, Leslie. This, this card, everybody, that you're looking at here is from the lovely Leslie. And look at this that she's made me. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and hold it on an angle so you can see it. Look at this. Amazing. All in lovely purple and white. It says, thanks Ashley for all you do. And she's used techniques, you know, text on path techniques. I can see Sarah's flower ding here. She's done some stitching with a pen. She's made a shape into a shaped card. Absolutely beautiful. I know, Rachel, isn't it amazing? And she's so lovely. She's actually sent me a little package with, well, it's not such a little package, actually. She's sent me a package with all beautiful die cuts and things in. I meant to message you last night, Leslie, but I was out yesterday and this must have, our post is coming at all kinds of strange times at the moment with, you know, Corona and everything. And I didn't pick this up until late last night and I completely forgot to message you. So this morning when I got up, I sat and had a, a nice cup of coffee with my breakfast and I sat going through the package of all the lovely die cuts and things that she sent me and then um, a, a lovely little card inside saying thank you. So I felt that it definitely needed showing off and that's why I'm sat with it here today. So yes, thank you, Leslie, and everyone's saying it's beautiful, aren't they? Tony, don't worry. Yeah, evening, everybody. I know, it's gorgeous. I'm really, really... It really... I knew she was sending it me because... Um, obviously, I had to give my address. But I forgot about it. And then when I got home last night, I saw this package. And it's funny, I nearly didn't open it because it came with an envelope that said don't open until a certain day and another one that was a card. And it's my birthday this week coming. So I, I like to put the things away for my actual birthday and I, I nearly didn't open it 
and I don't know what made me go back and look at it and then I thought oh I better had and then I realised what it was as I opened it so thank you so much. So today is going to be a bit of another of an experiment. In the thumbnail, hopefully you will have seen on the video, Canvas put up, I think it was about four projects several weeks ago now. Sheila, it was so thoughtful of her, wasn't it? It's lovely. Um, and one of the projects that they put up in Canvas is a vinyl project and it shows it being used on like a white, desktop unit very similar actually to the one that I use to keep my stamping up stamps and inks and blends on and it's all kind of girly themed there's like perfume bottles there's a plant there's a, a mirror there's a few different elements and it's it's meant to be used for vinyl and the more I think about it it would be if any of you know if any of you have got daughters or granddaughters the perfume bottles, which I want to try and use today, which I'm not cutting in vinyl, I'm going to try and use them a different way just to show you there's a, you know, always an alternative option. And as you know, you know, I'm predominantly a card maker. But I was thinking the perfume bottles would look fabulous if you cut them in vinyl and put them on a mirror and gave them as a gift to somebody. So Karen's put, hubby just handed me a gin and tonic, bless him. Well, that's the kind of husband that you need to keep, Karen Lazenby. <laughs> Rachel, thank you, you're welcome. So what I did, I have this box that I keep on my desk and it's a, it's a, a an empty light stamp case box. We used to be able to buy these from Stamping Up. I think they've stopped these chunky ones now and they only do the thinner ones, you know, like I showed you last week, like the, the, the DVD, CD type cases. But I keep this on my desk. And over all the weeks that I've been doing these lockdown Sundays, I've thrown things into this box. So, you know, you may remember that was from the piercing. I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but that was from the piercing Sunday. And then there's some squares here that I must have cut out for something and, you know, bits and pieces that I throw in here. Um, there's more stuff in here from when I did the, the piercing tool. So, as I say, this, this is kept on my desk and it's got bits of flowers in it as well that I've cut over the weeks and I just throw them all in here. Some that I've stamped and cut out and, you know, had spares of. So there's all sorts in this box. And when I looked at this box this morning, I'll show you how it was. Where's that purple? The things that were near the top were the blue, the purple, the green, and, and this kind of peachy pink colour. So I set off looking for some paper and in my Stamping Up Subtles kit, Stamping Up are really good like this. They do design a series paper in a theme, but then they also do um, six by six packs in what they call their Subtles, Brights, Neutrals, that kind of thing, because they have colour families. And I usually lean towards the subtle colours. So I looked in my Subtles stack and I found a purple and I found a kind of a pinky peach like this and a blue. So I pulled these four pieces out, then I pulled some black card out and I just thought we'd have a little bit of a mess around and see if I can make a card from what predominantly is a vinyl kit. I've just seen Karen saying good morning, Ellen it could get as good as that I would be well chuffed. Oh, if I could get as good as get that, I'd be well chuffed. Hi, Ashley, and the rest of the world. Hi, Ashley, happy Father's Day, yeah. So, I'm going to twizzle you round, hopefully not make you too sick. Let me just plug my phone in in case it dies. 
Oh my lord, can't see. Right, so excuse the wobbling. I'm going to turn you around, so close your eyes if you get motion sickness. Try and do what we did last week and see what happens. See if I can zoom us in. Right, what we're saying. Hi Ashley and the rest of the world. Happy Father's Day. Hello from Winnipeg, Canada. Hi Vicky. The weather is messing with my streaming today. Okay, well don't worry Vicky because it should be recorded. So hopefully we'll be okay. Just going to try and move my cable from my phone. Just hook it round there. Right, so... As I say, this is a project that's in Canvas Workspace. Hi, Anna. Are oh, you welcome, Anna? Thank you. And it's, I think, when you go to Canvas Workspace, either for web or computer, I think it's the second project along. I think they put about four up a few weeks ago. So I'm going to just load. Right, so what I've done, I sent the file over wirelessly this morning and I've saved it into the machine. So I'm going to go to retrieve data. Let me just, do I need to move you back or move you nearer? Just hang on one minute while it catches up. Oh no, that's not right, you need to be nearer. Sorry, just hang on. Okay, there we go. So I saved it into the machine. I'm going to jump to the last page and here's my file. Now, what I also did while I was in Canvas, I created a word, a welded word that said thanks. So on this mat, I've got two elements of the thanks and I've got the perfume bottles. The perfume bottles, when I opened them in Canvas, were grouped. So while they were still grouped, I just resized them down by eye because, as I say, these are meant to be cut in vinyl and for the project that they're using them on. They're using them on like a, a shelf unit and I want to try and cut them smaller. But what I also want to try and do is make offsets for them so that I can cut some black offsets and then cut the bottles in the colours of paper that I've just shown you. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm thinking that I'm going to use the big tall bottle and this one and this one. And then the other two I'm going to get rid of. So with one of those two selected, I'm going to get to the edit. Can you see this or does it need to go backwards a bit? Hang on, let's see how this looks now. I'm just going to tilt you backwards a little bit. There you go, that's better, isn't it? So I'm going to get rid of these two up here. So I'm going to hit the delete button, select the next one and delete that. So I've got three bottles. So the first one I'm going to select, I'm going to go to Object Edit and I'm going to put an offset on it. Now I'm going to try 0.04 and my machine gives me a 0.06 inch by default. So I'm going to take it down to 0.04 and I can see it's given me an offset because my design has turned green. So if I select, if I click on it, Oh, we need to say OK first. And then drag my bottle out of the way. This is now my offset. So I'm, my thinking is I'm going to cut these in black. So I'm going to do the same with the next one. Take it to 0 0.04, say OK. Drag the bottle out of the way. And that will be my offset. And do the same with this one. I don't know whether this is going to work because I've not tried it. As far as I've got is getting the project from Canvas and putting it in here. I've just seen somebody say that's better. Okay, so let's do... Sometimes I have a bit of a devil picking these up. 
So there are the three bottles that are the offsets that I'm going to cut in black, hopefully. This word I'm going to cut in black. And then the three bottles I'm going to try and cut in different paper. So I need to see how big they are to see how big a pieces I need. And the word thanks, I'm just going to get rid of for a minute because I can't make my mind up what to colour that in. So I'm just going to get rid of that for a minute and say OK. So my bottles now, if I go into object edit and into the sizing, screen's gone a bit funny now, hasn't it? I think it's because the light's moving. Let's put this back up again. See if it makes any difference. Turn you around a bit more. So this is three inches just under high by just under an inch wide. And this one's about an inch wide. So if I cut two inch wide strips, they should fit on there. And then I can put some scrap on there and I can put some black in there. So, if you just cut some paper. So I've just seen Carol saying hi. I'm not even going to print, begin to try and pronounce where that is. Uh, Carol, but first time live for me. Well, welcome. So I'm just cutting some paper at the moment. As I say, I don't even know if this is going to work because I've not tried it. need some black card hi Alan I'm gonna cut a piece of black card so if I get all my elements together It's a good experiment. Thanks for taking us along with your exploration. You're welcome. Someone else from Wales. Yeah, I knew it was Wales, but I can't begin to say it. Lanfair. Hmm, no. Anyway. Is that regular paper or cardstock? Right, so this is Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper, which is kind of like a lightweight card. I think it's about eight, 90 grams, something like that. And then the black is cardstock, which from memory is probably about 150, something like that. So Mandy G's put there are lots of cute files in the canvas project, a bunny lampshade, handbag and shoes, as well as the perfume bottles. Yeah, there's loads, that's what I mean. And this is how I started off, wasn't it, all those weeks ago doing projects from canvas. So I thought we'll come back and we'll revisit this one because this one's gone in over the last, I think it's gone in, probably been in within maybe about a month, the last month. So let me get my mat. I know you can't see the mat at the moment, but I've still got you on the screen. So um, Jennifer has just said, do you buy 12 by 12 or do you cut it down? Um, I buy both. I buy a lot of the card is what I sell, the Stampin' Up! card. And I tend to buy A4 in that. And then I've got, whereas I said before, I like to buy like the subtle stacks in the paper. They come in six by six. I also buy the Subtles stack in the cardstock, which is 12 by 12. It's a mixed stack and it has all the 10 colours that's in the Subtles range. 
and then sometimes I buy card um, from other places and I, like sometimes I get it from makers and I use 12 by 12 so I, I, I have a mixture predominantly A4 but I do have a mixture a lot of the designer series paper from Stampin' Up is 12 by 12 so obviously I have that Karen's saying, how do you know what size thickness of cardstock to purchase? It depends what you're using it for. If you're using it for a base of a card, Karen, I would go for at least something 200 grams or, or heavier. If you can, you know, to actually make the base card. But as I say, the stamping up cardstock, I, th I think it's I said 150, but I have a feeling it's heavier than that now. I think they're regular cardstock. Um, somebody asked me as well the other day and I sent them an email and I honestly can't remember what I said but any of this cardstock you could make bases out of this but sometimes you want something a bit more sturdier but it's great for matting and layering and that kind of thing but as I say you can make bases out of it lots of demonstrators do so I'm just going to put some card on this mat and then we'll get it loaded and see what happens. Caroline's put stamping up cardstock is the best. I love it. I love all the colours that you get in it, Caroline, and I do use it a lot. So, right, what bottles have we got where? What should we do for which? So if we have the, we'll have one of them there. We'll have one of them there. And we'll have one of them there. Right, let's get this loaded. So Rachel's saying, does anyone have any tips on a cut mat? The blade slipped to the highest setting. I've put tape behind it though. Yeah, Rachel, I one of my CM models, I cut through my very first machine. I think it was on the CM600. And I put brown parcel tape on the back of it. If you've cut completely through it, a shape, put the shape back in the mat and then tape it up on the back. You know, with that very thin brown parcel tape. I wouldn't use masking tape or painter's tape because that tends to pull away over time and you can end up leaving it inside your machine. But the brown sticky, like I think it's shiny on one side, you can normally get it on a roll about three inch diameter, something like that. Just tape it up on the back and mine lasted for years. In fact, it lasted all through the CM600 and I still used it on the CM900 and you'll see videos. Um, on the channel where, oh I've just unloaded that and I meant to load it, load it, load it. So Alison's saying, if you don't mind Ashley for saying, I use A4 predominantly 300 GSM make sturdier car blank. Yeah, and that's what I mean, anything higher than 200 for a, a, a card blank is, is always good. Right, I'm going to say OK, OK, and I'm going to do a background scan and then try and position these shapes on these bits of card and paper and see what happens. It is frustrating when you do it, Rachel, but as I say, make, just put some, don't put painter's tape or masking tape. Use like a parcel tape. Barbara's saying buy it via Ashley's site. Is that the card? Yeah, I sell Stamping Up card. It's fab. Lynn, it doesn't matter. Just finished your tea. Lovely. Right, I'm going to say, I think I might, do I need to put you back down again? Okay. I'm going to say, okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the wrench and make the screen lighter. And say okay so I can see if these these look all positioned fairly well actually I think I've done a pretty good job there by the look of it all the black are okay I'm just gonna make it darker again because I can't see the pale blue they all look okay so right I'm gonna send it to cut and see what happens And then I'll 
catch up with your comments. Start. Uh, Caroline says, so you can use two different cardstock weights at the same time. I always do, Caroline. I don't think you meant to really, but to be fair, I always do. Scotch magic tape I use, someone's saying. Okay, does that stay put as well, Alison? As I say, I've only ever used that brown parcel tape. You know, it's, I think, shiny on one side, but very sticky. Um, that's what I've always used in the past, probably because I had it in the house at the time I cut through the mat. Hello, I'm late. Making Father's Day meal for Dad. Don't worry, Patty, that's fine. Alison's saying, yes, Scotch Magic Tape works fine. Okay, well, there's another option. Just noticed some scrap paper on my card while I'm sat here, so I'll peel that off. What I'm going to do as well, because I've got paper and I've got a thicker card, before I unload the mat, I'm going to check that the black has cut through, because obviously it would have set its blade probably based on... I didn't see where it went. It'll either set its blade based on the paper or on the card, I can't remember, so I'll just check the card before I unload it. So I'm just peeling the waste away at the moment for my little bottles. So how cute is that? Little bottle, little stopper. made these tiny to be fair but we'll see what happens so I'm just going to put them all to one side for a minute I think I need that little frame Possibly for the bottle, I'm not sure. So we'll keep all the little bits. I don't need that, that's waste. So these look as though they've all cut okay. So we'll put all these on one side. get my word off without ripping it. So that's my word. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn you round. Hold on while I turn you back. Right, 
Right, let me see what you're saying. I've just seen a comment. Alison's, oh, hang on a second. I'm going to need the machine again in a minute because I need to cut the words to go on top of here because this black layer is the matting layer. So I need some glue to put these together first. I think that's the first thing. I'll stick these together. I've lost the stopper for my blue bottle there. That goes there. Right, Alison's saying, having trouble cutting the trifold card, it cuts fine until getting to the bottom edge, then breaks the card at the last two curls. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Because lots of us cut that trifold card. Maybe your mat's not sticky enough in that area. Don't worry, Alison. Very pretty font. I think the font is the one I used in Wednesday night's live. I think it's brush script. I can't remember what font I use. Leslie's put, have you, have just got back on my laptop playing up very slow. Typing sound bad, have missed nearly all. Okay, don't worry, Leslie, it will be recorded. Right, let me find some glue. use a scrap of this to get the end of my, my glue off. So my thinking is I'll stick the coloured parts onto the black parts directly. Just add a little dab of wet glue. I mean, as I say, this is a meant to be a vinyl project, so I have shrunk it down, and obviously we've added an offset, which is going to help. So I need my lid. Got too much glue on there. Tap some of this glue off onto this other piece. This is the fiddly bit, isn't it, when you're trying to get everything put together. Charlotte Sill says first time. Well, welcome, Charlotte. I'm literally just putting little dabs of this wet glue to hold these together. So for anybody that's new, we tend to do this on a Sunday, UK time, five o'clock. And then on a Wednesday, I tend to do something on Canvas Workspace and that's at six o'clock UK time. So if you want to tune in again, And all the lives are all in their own playlist on my channel. I think that's upside down. Oops, let's turn that around. I think that goes that way. So you can always go back and look and see what we've been up to in previous weeks. I'm just going to put one tiny little dab of glue on there because this is so small. Hi, Louise. Now this Tombow dries clear, so I've got a little bit of extra glue there, so hopefully you'll not see that when it dries. So there's the three bottles for now. I think one of these frames is meant to go on there, but I don't know if that's just too small for me to try and get some glue on. Let's try. I don't know whether this is going to stay on. I can virtually hardly get any glue on it. Because I'm a bit late, can you just tell me? Yes, Alison, it's 
one of the free projects that was put into Canvas about a month ago. When you open up Canvas Workspace, it's the second project along. And in their project, they're using it for vinyl on what looks like a white bookcase. So you're meant to be doing it in vinyl really, but I've shrunk it down and I was thinking I'd use some scraps and see what we can make with it card wise. They are so pretty, very girly. My granddaughter would love them. Yeah, that's what I mean, Karen. I think they're fab. And I think if you bought, you know, say like a plain mirror at Christmas and cut them in vinyl and put them on the bottom of a mirror in, you know, a nice vinyl or a glitter vinyl, I think they'd look lovely. Um, Tanya, I, they, they were grouped, there's five bottles and they're grouped and I sized them as a group and I just did it by eye. But when I looked at the machine before, before I cut these, this is just over two, the, the pinky layer that you can see here is just over two and three quarters high, not quite three inches and it was just under an inch wide. And this is the tallest bottle of the five bottles. So that should give you an idea. Right, so, I've got a piece of white A4 card, which I cut in half on the short side. Am I too zoomed in now? Do you need zooming out a bit or are you all okay with it? would be cute cut out of fabric as well definitely an appliqued onto a bag yeah it'd look lovely everyone's saying okay okay right that's fine so this is where my scrap box is going to come in what we've got in here Ooh. it's fine okay with the view okay that's fine right so let's see what do we think we could do I don't like to put my band in the middle this is difficult to see white on white but this is quite heavily embossed can you see that? This was an embossing folder that we used to sell in Stamping Up. It was called Swirls and Curls and it's just retired. And I'm a bit gutted because I really liked it. So I'm still going to use it. But I'm thinking if we put it, if you kind of break your page up into thirds, we'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that. I, I got you on a large TV fire stick. Oh, blimey, Alison. I <laughs> um, saw something silver a minute ago. Let's try this and see. I don't know if any of this is going to work. As I say, I'm just playing. But this is kind of like the process that I go through. This might not look right at all. And then I've got the thanks to go on. Hannah's looking through the door and trying to talk to me. <laughs> she doesn't want to come in, bless her. <laughs> um, so there's another layer to go on top of the thanks. Let me turn it round. I'm not so sure I like this at the moment, so we'll see. Big TV is the way to go, Lynn's put. That's pretty, so beautiful, like that. Okay, so let's try though. Let's take that one off. 
this was the from the piercing kit the other week. I'm going to have to turn it round now, can't work upside down. Let's move that. Let's try this square. I've, I've just seen something that's full screen is fuzzy for me, gave up on the TV because it kept loading. Streaming fine on PC, but looks out of focus. Oh, okay. Well, I'm watching it on mine and it's not out of focus. So hopefully you'll be all right. It might just be like you say, you're streaming. Right, let's see. Don't know if I like this one. Don't think I like the, the blue. What do we think? Not so sure, are you? <clears throat> um, let's try this one. This one is kind of a bit like a, a wooden floor type. Prefer circle, prefer silver. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking that. Let's try this one and see if this looks any different. So we'll try this one with the silver. The blue we've decided we're not going to use. See, what I'm thinking is layering these bottles up and having one in the middle like that. And then we've got the thanks to go on with a layer on top of it yet. Silver's better. Vicky's saying must be my internet. Or something. I think she's saying, is it? Yes, yeah, satellite connection. I vote for silver, okay. I have to get brave and try my embossing kit. This embossing wasn't done with the brother embossing kit. It was done with... Um, you know, these type of embossing folders that you put through a, like a big shot or mine's um, a snap machine. That's what these were done with. I wouldn't cover up your embossed piece. Okay. So maybe either put that at the bottom or over or there, what do we think? Good, co good color combo. So are we saying the, try the deep pink or yellow? What deep pink? This deep pink. Um, the yellow won't go because that's a bottle. above white circle on top of silver okay do you all keep scrap boxes like this it's a shame to throw things away isn't it So that one could go on there. That's more like a donut, though. The pink will balance the pink on the other side. Okay. So we, we're saying we're sticking with the pink, not the white piece. Okay. Bottles. And are we saying the thanks is going up here? My scrap looks more like scrap. <laughs> Lynn's put yeah loads of bits. The silver looks like the mirror like a mirror, yeah. Um overlap a little. What the words do you mean overlap a little? 
because don't forget I've got to put another layer on top of that yet. Yes, you never know what they'll come in handy exactly. I mean, I've got all sorts of things in here. I've got Sarah's flowers. I've got flowers that I've stamped. I've got a big flower that I was playing about with. I've got a Mickey Mouse. I like it without the white ring. Okay, we'll, we'll try that again in a minute. Just trying to see what else we've got in here. I thought I saw in here this morning a little flower there. Look at that. That's not quite the right colour, but um, what else have we got? We've got pink. So we've got purples, we've got blues, don't know if we need any of these, this might be a bit of overkill. So look, what's you? I like the thanks up above, okay, yes the word over the pink band can see it with the other layer. I like it better without the, yeah, okay. I prefer it without the white ring, okay. So if we take that one away. I mean, we could always overlap. So what color do we think for the, the top layer of the words? Can I frame a silver circle? Not with anything that I've got in my scrap box, I don't think. I've not got anything bigger than that at the moment handy that I can see. That pink's the same size and it's not the right colour. The red's too small, the green's too small. The heart's not what I want. I've got a square an oval um, purple or blue blue bottle colour for the thanks blue okay let's see what we've got that blue too pale maybe pink it will make the black pop okay right someone else is saying maybe got that if you leave the pink emboss strip then pink um, the deeper blue like the flowers okay just got to find that now Deeper blue like the flower. That's that's the deeper blue, the same as the flower. Blue should work. Too much pink, okay, with blue, light blue, no, too dark. What the, the blue's too dark. So which one we say in light dark blue? Or light blue. 
use light someone's put deep blue too dark right so the light blue okay got more more for light blue than the dark blue so we'll try the light blue and first and see And what we're thinking about the layout so far. Someone's put pink now to put to pull the emboss forward. Right, well let's try. That's not the right pink anyway. That's not the same pink, but we'll try pink and we'll try blue just to, and I'll leave that on one side for now. Just putting all the scraps off. Um, like this layout. Awesome, looking lovely. Thanks, halfway over the embossed right, okay. So let's try the pink and the blue. And what I'll do, rather than keep moving you, I'll just load up the word and then I don't have to keep moving you around because you saw me retrieve it before. So I'll just go to the last page and I'll just get that part of the word I want and get rid of everything else. And we'll cut two of them and see. Send all that to the bin, okay. I'll make two of these. Excuse me. Do a quick background scan. Do you think the silver would be too much over the word? Right, we're going to do one in pale blue and we're going to do one in the pink, although this particular pink is not the same pink, but We'll see what happens. And I don't know how this is going to cut, as I say, because I've not cut it. I only made it this morning and sent it over. This is so much fun, my first international scrap meet. Oh, well done, Vicky. Love the new collection in Canvas. Yeah, there's, um, have you seen, Alison, have you seen that? Is it a lemon, I think it's a lemon table runner or something like that, or a table mat or something. And it's, it's made of like lemons, I think, from memory. That looked quite nice. But I just saw this and saw it used, you know, in vinyl, cut on um, like a wall unit. And just thought, well, let's see if we can make it smaller and see what else we can do with it. Should we try the silver as well then? Well, right, we, at the moment we're cutting it in blue, we're cutting it in pink, and if it cuts okay, I'll try the silver. not pink too many shades yeah that's what I was thinking because it's not the right shade if it was the same shade it might not be too bad but it's definitely not the same this piece of pink isn't stamping up it's that card I told you I bought weeks ago you know when I did the big flowers it was from um, Hobbycraft or somewhere like that so it's not the same shade so that's why I was thinking not the pink to be perfectly honest And I've 
not cut this font before, so I don't know how this is going to work. At the moment, it seems to be caught in my card, just in one tiny little place. Oh, it's looking a bit fragile. That's it's going to be a bit of a devil to stick, I think. Trying to squash it down to make it look some kind of. I can tell I don't like the pink already. Right, let me clean the rubbish off. Um, the Canvas Project photos don't do them any favours. I don't give them a second glance, but when you open them in there, yeah, they are. And that, I think that was why I started doing them on these Sundays. That's how I started all those like weeks ago. Picking the projects and, you know, doing them and seeing what they look like. Uh, sil silver circle. Yeah, we've got a silver circle, Charlotte. I'm not sure. Have I missed something? Perhaps a black frame. Oh, a black frame around the silver circle. Well, I've not got one handy, but I suppose we could cut one. Um... So glad you do these Ashley demos. Not much good if everything is prepared. Don't like the blue, okay. Uh, needs to be the same colour pink, yeah, and it's not. So should we try the silver and see if that cuts? Because it is very, very fragile. Just get it out of this piece of silver scrap. Right, I'm going to go back and do a background scan and send the silver through and see what happens. Needs to be said, yeah, like blue. I think the blue will work once it's fitted properly. Okay, well, we'll. Keep the blue to one side for a minute. We'll get rid of the pink because the consensus is that's not right. Yes, silver and the darker blue. Same blue paper as the bottle. I'm just going to get rid of, because I've got two of these now, haven't I? So I'm just going to get rid of one. Okay, select, cut. Start. See how the silver, if it cuts, because I don't know how well you can see this, but this is so fine. I must have. Can you see it? It's so delicate here. Don't think silver will pop. How about the silver just offset? over the pink even though wrong colour. Okay, well we'll try it before we stick it all down. Although a black frame around the silver circle might take away from the framed bottles. Okay, what about white to match the card? Yeah, could do. Would it be better with white strip rather than the pink strip? Have we considered white? <laughs> okay. We have now. Just trying to get this gently off this mat because it's very, very fragile. You 
You just wouldn't believe how fragile this is. In fact, I'm surprised it's been held together. Get rid of that one for a minute. Let's put this on here and see how this looks. Because it's wobbling around all over the place, you know, with it being so. I don't think it's going to look right until it's actually stuck down. Covered in glitter now. You need a pokey tool. I know it's in my drawer somewhere. You may need to make several cards in different variations. <laughs> um, right, I've got Boom Perfect. What's that to the silver? I was thinking silver as the bottom layer with black on top. like that. The blue won't go over the silver because it's the same size. The pink's not right. I like the light blue better. Okay, let's try that. It doesn't help that it's all fine and it's all bendy and I've not got enough hands to hold it all together. Right, what are we saying? Do we prefer? So we've got Alison saying she likes the silver. Then we've got Caroline and Linda both saying the blue. I think I've gone off the pink, Lynn, because it's not the same pink and it's plainly obvious. It might not be coming over on the screen, but to me, it's clearly a completely different pink and I, it's not looking right. Right, we've got split decisions here. We've got silver, light blue, silver, blue. Prefer silver, I like blue. Don't like the blue. That's so funny. Right, we seem to have a, a split decision over the blue and the silver. So before we start sticking anything down, are we definitely saying that we're sticking with this pink layer here or should I go back to the white layer that I had? It is hilarious, Linda. Pink layer, pink layer. Pick one, use pink layer. Right, so we're sticking with the pink. Keep the pink. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, well, let, let, I'll tell you what, we'll make a start. Right, I'm going to glue, we're gluing, so we, we're stuck with it now. Pink, keep the pink, pink but only halfway over the pink strip. Right, let's see. This is hilarious. P 
pink strip and silver, thanks. No, try it with white. Okay, the words in white on the black. Right, let's get this bit so far. So. There we go. <laughs> Pink strip with smaller white on top. That's why two cards never turn out the same. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I dare not make any suggestions. <laughs> Go on, Alan, you can do. Thing is, I may have stuck it down before you say it. Never had so much fun in lockdown. <laughs> Okay, what are we thinking so far? I'm just gonna have a quick drink. Maybe we should let Alan have the last word. Wise choice, Alan, too many cooks. <laughs> Right, the first thing to decide is where, irrespective of what we put on top, where is the black going? Is it going on the pink strip, above it, be, or below it? No, no, just carry on with it. Good like the layout, just got here, Father's Day today in Canada. You are all too funny. <laughs> we are, we're hilarious, aren't we? None of us can make our mind up. Alan's saying he's busy cutting a gazebo out. I presume you mean in card. Or do you mean a proper fabric one? That looks lovely. Smart man. On the pink strip. Right, okay. So it's going to go on there. Where's my little foam pads? See what we can get on here. If I use the black foam pads, hopefully, we'll not see them. And then we'll put this down and then we'll decide. I'll cut it in white and then we'll decide between the white and the blue because that seems to be. Or should I just leave it as it is in black? Someone said above the strip and I've put it on now. <laughs> Alice saying you choose. Not blue. You choose. Right, let's try some white. I just need to find some first. white card Leave it black, 
silver or white. It's going to be about 15 inches tall and 10 inches across the base plinth and it's for my son's wedding. Ah, right, okay. Okay, so the last question is, do we need the flowers? Or is that just gonna send everybody into turmoil? cleaning the blade out because I've been cutting that glitter card and there was a big chunk of glitter in it so right the white's cutting we'll see what's going on now so Charmaine's saying no flowers yes now it's bare above the line okay hang on No flowers. Flowers will be too much. Okay, that's fine. At least we're all agreed on that one. Um, I've just Jennifer's put. I was just going to ask how you clean the blade. Mine got a lot of fluff when I cut black cardstock. Yeah, just open it up and blow it. just ask that Jennifer the other way to do it unscrew and I keep this wadded balled up silver foil and just stab it in that cleans the blade as well gets any bits of glue or anything off it but just give it a, a blow and all the bits normally come out and then you're good to go again Right, where's the white? Let's try the white. Gems over the corner, okay. Just need to get this off the mat first. This is what you get when you don't try cutting it first, you see. I didn't know it was this fine. I think I might have just broken it now. Just some bling, pink bling, okay. Right, are we saying white? If I try and hold it down. Pink bling to make the pink in threes, yeah, threes definitely. Yes, a little sparkle to echo the, echo the silver. <laughs> Gem in the middle of the two bottles and a third in the corner. Yes, white, white or silver. Right, let's go with the white. Oh, Charmaine saying blue, still my choice. No, no to white, prefer silver. Okay, there is also 
a small sponge on the back of the spatula. Yes, there is that you can take your blade out with, definitely, yeah. Um, silver, white, oh, come on, we split again now. Silver, yes, white, silver. Blue, white, still light blue, oh. Right, who are we going to give the decision to? Is it going to be Alan? White is stark. Blue, silver. Caroline saying my choice. I can't decide now. I actually do like the white, but I kind of quite like the blue as well. Yes, Alan. Let's give Alan the chuck. <laughs> laughing so hard. None of us can make a decision. 75 people here and none of us can decide. Right, and there's the blue, roughly. Silver, that's better. White, silver. <laughs> oh, my days. Silver, someone's saying. Right, hang on. The, the thing with the silver is, I've ripped it a little bit. Silver for the glitter, not blue. Okay. White it pops. Suzanne's saying absolutely blue. Blue, definitely. Well, well why then? Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, right. I'm not doing silver, I've decided. So it's between white and blue, come on. White, no, I like the blue, just join blue, no silver. You won't see the it once it's glued. Blue, Alan has the last word, right, Alan, that's it, come on. Is it white or blue? White. Okay, Alan had the last word, that's it, done. Now my glue's dried up. <laughs> Charmaine. <laughs> uh, right, no, Alan had the last word and he said white, so we're going with white. And that's it. I hope we can get it to stick on now. Right, I'm just going to have to turn it round to me because it's so fine. I just need to try and be able to get it into place. So all the people that were saying blue, you're going to have to go and make this now and make it in blue. I'm just going to turn it over and give it a press. <laughs> Angels just put good choice, Alan. Why it's so much fun? It's mad. We can't even decide a colour between us. Right, look, you're going to love it now. I know, Lynn, exactly. Right, I'm just going to do these random. They might not be in the places everybody wanted, but they're in threes. So there we go. What do you think? So what started out as a vinyl project in canvas workspace that was to be cut and put on a white bedroom unit I've made smaller, 
I created a black 0, 0.04 offset for the bottles, layered it all up onto some scrap that was in my scrap box and then cut the word which is a font that's on my computer and I'm sure I used it, it's called Brush Script. It's the one I used on Wednesday night from memory and I've literally created a black layer and now Alan's white layer. So using the project in a completely different way than it was meant to be used. Yeah, good choice, Alan. <laughs> Alison. <laughs> oh, funny. Great fun tutorial, great job. I've been using the phone, beautiful. Okay, right, any questions before we go? Because it's 20 past six. Great job, a democratically made card. Yeah, definitely. I think we've, I think it's fair to say everyone's had their input in this card tonight. And for all the blues out there, you're going to have to go make it now and put your word in blue. <laughs> yeah. Rose, you're welcome. Alan said he's available for commissions. <laughs> So, simple project, simple card made with basic scraps and a lot of input from 80 odd people. <laughs> Am I giving you too many choices, Alison? <laughs> Being great, thank you. You're welcome, Maria. Thanks, Thea. You're welcome, Charlotte. You're welcome, Lynn. <laughs> You're right there, Barbara. I have, yeah. That's funny. Oh, Charmaine, sorry. Love to do something blue next time for Charmaine. Sunday live thanks for the fun session yeah thanks everybody enjoyed the tutorial so as I say it's in canvas just on the particular mat with the bottles I think there's a telephone and a mirror but it's the a set of five bottles I just chose to use these three good job I didn't give you a choice for the bottles isn't it we could have still been here deciding on the bottles to use Karen, that's fine, you're welcome. Well, on Wednesday, I'm not sure, but I asked the question about the saving again because I'm still getting lots of questions about how to save things from the machine into Canvas, how to get things from Canvas onto the machine. And I put that poll up the other day and when I looked this morning, I think we'd had 65 replies and 84% wanted me to go over the saving again. I think there was only about 14 or 15% of the people didn't want me to cover saving again. So what do you think? At the moment, you know, the poll is there and I tend to, tend to try and go with the majority. And the majority of the people at the moment are still saying they want me to go over the saving business again and how to get things saved from canvas to your machine or how to get it saved from canvas to your computer. Mandy, you're welcome, yeah, same to you. 6pm UK, Vicky, on Wednesday. Ellen's saying you want the saving again. Yes, we're on summertime. Suzanne, where are you? I can't remember. Are you in Denmark? It's a 
Tanya's saying no saving is easy to understand, so you don't want to see saving, okay. Well, the thing is, if the majority do, then that's what I'll go with. So obviously, you know, I'll, I'll understand if some of you don't want to tune in. Okay, Caroline. Karen, you're saying saving. Okay, yeah, Denmark. So there's a time saving, no, what's it called? Time zones blog post on the blog that that was giving people an idea of what, what the time differences were. But I can't what what time difference are you in Denmark? See you Wednesday. Yeah, that's fine. Vicky, it's an hour later than Sunday's start, if that helps. Yes, it is. So Wednesday's six, Sunday's five. Alison's put only easy if you get it. Okay, yeah. As I say, I think 84% eight, said they wanted me to go over it again. So Vicky's saying don't need saving, but will you include a project as well? Um, try and do something. What light, Vicky? Rosie's saying saving is great. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Ashley. See you all Wednesday. Yeah, okay, Rachel. It's always good to go over saving again. It's... Charmaine, it's on the U on the YouTube on my YouTube channel, Community Wall, and I posted it in the week. It's probably about the second post down, and you vote, and it, it says, "Do you want me to go over say, say the saving again? Yes or no?" And I looked this morning, and I think sixty four people had said, or well, sixty four people had voted, I think, and eighty four percent of the vote was yes. Alan's saying it's always worth a refresher. I haven't seen the poll either, Lynn. Okay, so it's on the community wall of the YouTube channel, Lynn. Uh, what a mixed font wording. Not sure what that means. So Alison's put 84% needs help. Go for it. Okay, well, that's what I was thinking. It's, it, I've got to go with the majority, really, haven't I? I've done that in other weeks, so it's only fair. So Charmaine's saying, great, I'm voting for saving. Okay, I'll be there. Sunday evening, 7.25. Okay, so you were in an hour and 25 ahead? Or are you saying it's 7.25 now? Okay, so you're an hour ahead. So then it will be 7 o'clock for you, Suzanne, because it's 6 o'clock in the UK. Alison's saying saving sounds great. Yes, yeah, someone else has just put Suzanne, you are plus one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Suzanne, it would be 7 p.m. for you. Lynn's saying we'll tune in anyway because there's always something to learn. Caroline's saying, sorry, Ashley, what about a mixed wording message using different fonts? Okay, yeah. So, Caroline, do you mean like one word in one font and another word in another font? If you can build into saving some explaining how to convert to SVG from different places. Um, the only way to convert, no, I can't convert a scan and cut into an SVG. I can convert an SVG into a scan and cut, if that's what you mean, Alan. So Caroline's saying yes to create a message. Okay, yeah, well, funnily enough, I've got a bit of an idea about that, so maybe we could do that then.
Okay, right, that's fine. We'll try for that. It's okay, I'll listen. That's fine. <laughs> right, I'm going to go then. So we'll do some kind of mixed word and saving on Wednesday. So take care, everybody. Alan's saying, I've noticed a lot of people on social media asking how to get SVG from design packages into Canvas Workspace. Okay, we'll try that. We'll see what we can come up with. Charlotte, stop it. <laughs> Right, okay, take care everyone, I'm going to go. See you all soon, take care, bye.